Hey folks, uh, this is Siak, and um, so we're just going to get started with some basics of PikaSim and then get into configuring and flying uh, the Plage um, beach site. So uh, here we are on the front page. We're going to go to Free Fly, um, make your own choice of plane and scenery. Uh, we're going to choose the, the fish right now and the cliff. Um, <clears throat> And uh, when we get here, there are a few things that I like to change. And um, all the configuration we do is going to be done through this gear icon. So if you go up to that, um, first thing I do uh, over on the options uh, is to turn off the zoom for you. And um, then down here, ground auto zoom, um, I turn that up to six, about 650. And the ground field of view uh, I set to 80 degrees. And those two things together um, have the effect of um, ha having the plane a little bit larger in the view. And it, it also um, uh, makes the plane seem a little bit slower and m more natural um, to, my, uh, to my eyes. Um, and then I turn the wind volume uh, turn the wind volume down and uh, the outside airplane volume. Um, this is this is starts out at one and I turn this down to about 150. Um, that's it for that. Um, for the plane. Um, so here down here, uh, you can turn on the advanced um, options and uh, you always do that. And uh, what I do here uh oh okay so just to get started i just turn off uh, buttons one and two and uh there's a relaunch when stationary i turn that off so that we we control the launch and relaunch and then for scenery uh, i turn the wind speed down to about four or so and uh the turbulence turned down from uh 0. 0.6 to about 0. 0.1 Okay, there. And so now we have, you know, kind of a, just a basic um, slope uh, that you've seen in other videos uh, with LaFish. Um, I've got a Tyrannus QX7 uh, hooked up here. And um, I also have um, a couple of the switches um, set up the uh, pause, start, and also a reset button. Um, so you can just, uh, you know, uh, start over and over uh, very easily. So this is, um, you know, th this is the basic uh, slope soaring site. And, um, you know, you can practice aerobatics and, uh, you know, really whatever you want to do here. Um, but it's getting into the sort of specific kinds of sites that uh, I'm interested in showing you here. So um, to do that, um, we are, so, so we're going to do it based on this uh, hill scenery. And I'm gonna show you what, what we do. Um, <clears throat> oh, first of all, um, Oh, I haven't turned on, sorry, I haven't turned on the um, walkabout button. Where is that? Sorry, that's options. Okay, enable walkabout button. Sorry, that's in options too. And that's, uh, that's important for setting your, um, the start of your, um, where you're launching from. So now we have this walkabout button. If you click that, um, you can turn around and uh, you know, look all around uh, and you can actually move within the site. Um, for some reason, that only works when you turn acro mode on. Um, for the LaFish, I don't know why that is. So I have uh, acro mode on a switch and now we can 
kind of, you know, walk around and uh, fly from different locations. Let me go back here. But what I really want to show you is, so here we are, and if we're looking down, this is, um, you know, uh, 40 meters or so. And what we're essentially going to do is go down on the beach. Um, whoops. Sorry. Um, go down low to the beach. And um, so this gives you uh, something that's uh, more like that plage site. Um, but we're going to do more than more than just that. So I want to show you a couple things. So if we go back up the hill. OK, we're going to go to the scenery. And uh, there are a few things that we're going to sit set here. Um, if you go down a couple of sections, you'll get to ridge terrain uh, settings. And the thing to, to know is a, a number of the scene, most of the scenes um, are computer generated. And these are essentially the inputs to the ge uh, generation algorithm. And so you can change uh, the scene that's, that's actually getting set. Um, that's getting created. And so here um, we're going to take the height starts at 100 meters. Um, it's not actually 100 meters because it's above uh, it's above sea level a, a bit to start. We turn this down to about 35. And um, uh, and also this horizontal variation, we're going to turn turn that down from 10 meters to to three meters, and I'll show you what that does. Okay, so um, if we turn around, you can see, here, I'm gonna go forward. So now, if we go down here near the beach, okay, we're, we're on a slope, but we're kind of below the ridge. But I found that this this really works well as a starting point for something that approximates that plage video. Um, and uh, whoops, turn off acro. Um, so things are things are a lot slower here. You can see um, a lot more like the um, the plage video. Uh, and you can really start to practice um, some fine control uh, because things are, are so slow and you can get right down to the ground. Um, but uh, I also want to use the quartz, which is more like the French uh, VT VTPR models. Um, so I, I'm actually get, just going to load up a couple of things that I've uh, saved away. and. Um, I'll show you how I'll show you how uh, that's done, um, but uh, this is um, my uh, configuration for uh, the plage beach with uh, with a 2.5 meter quartz, and then airplane. I'm going to choose user. These the, the if you click user, you get just the ones that you've created, the custom ones. Uh, quartz plage 2.5 meter, and um, the interesting thing to see here on the aeroplane is the mass multiplier, which starts at one. I've turned that down to 0.6. Um, and you can, you know, just play around with these things. And what I found is um, uh, turning down the mass multiplier gives you something that feels more like what uh, things look like in the video that we're trying to um, approximate. So if we go back. Okay, so here's our 2.5 meter quartz. And this, so this is, so this is really, you know, really starting to feel like that video. Um, 
the plane, you know, the plane has, you know, the plane's a, a more, more sensitive, um, it, it's more sensitive in the sense that, um, it's lighter and things are slower and so you there's more sensitivity around your ability to to control it um with more mass and um uh and and uh higher wind speed and so forth um you know you're you're just flying faster and and you're not really getting what that that plage um scenario is like um so so that's that's setting up uh, the plage. Um, again, we can just look around here, see what we've got. Oh, the uh, I, um, I turned down the um, what was it? Scenery. Right, the horizontal variation uh, from ten meters to three meters. Now I'll show you what that does. So we're, if we crank it up to fifty meters. Um, you'll see okay well that 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 was a little uh, but the 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 idea is that the um, the the horizon line sort of the you know the the ridge line uh, is a uh, is a wave and uh, the variation of that wave is controlled by that slider so here we have a lot of variation and by turning it down, we can get down to we can we can get down to no variation. Uh, so it's a straight line. Um, but like I said, I'd like to do it at about three meters. And when you change these things, you'll find your your where your starting point was previously uh, is changed. So you may need to use the walk up walkabout button and um, uh, get back to a different uh, starting point. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you is in the scenery. So the wind bearing, if we go back here, here, here's the wind. You see it's coming straight off of the water. You can set the wind bearing manually um, so that it's off axis and a lot of the videos if you watch the the wind is off axis and so practicing flying um in those scenes you you want to you want the wind to be off axis so if we turn this from 177 down to about 160 you'll see the effect um so it doesn't doesn't really you can't really see it with the arrows so much but um Basically, we're going faster in this direction, and things things really slow down here, uh, going in this going in this other direction. Let me come back. Was pretty low okay so that's uh that's everything i wanted to show you here and um you know i think you can see you can get a uh you you can start to configure picasim to to uh fly in scenarios uh that you're interested in and, and that you can't get to uh in the real world um okay that's it uh that's it for today